Hey there, boys and girls. It's time to shave. I welcome all of you to my bathroom. Please, let's all hold hands and shave. If you held hands, you wouldn't be able to shave because you got to use your hands to shave. That was stupid, Steve. All right. So it is Thursday. Tomorrow is Friday. And Saturday is championship football weekend. All the conference championship games will be played Saturday. And uh, I got a feeling that there's some gator bait. I smell gator bait. Yeah. Gator bait. I'm going to kill some gators. I'll hunt them down and kill them. Real time. All right. Uh, today's shave, I, 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 was, uh, I was chatting last night uh, while I was working out in the garage uh, and uh, chatting with uh, Ed Munoz, I believe, it, yeah, Ed Munoz and I were chatting on uh, Facebook last night uh, and he picked my shave for today. So, uh, well, he picked the soap and the shaverage. And uh, he indicated that I should use a straight razor. It's rare that I don't. But I will today. Today's straight razor is Klaus, uh, Klaus, not Klaus, Klaus Tornblom. Is that how you say it? Kloss Tornblom Swedish frame back razor. And uh, it's got a little barber's notch there. Uh, and uh, got a little frame back there. And it's from uh, it's from Eskilstuna. Eskilstuna. Eskilstuna, Sweden. I'll get it right in a minute. Anyway, Swedish frame back. Uh, shaver. Uh, he picked the soap. He says, use a Dr. John product. So, there it is. Dr. John Gold Label. Tobacco. And Neroli. Tobacco and Neroli is what I smell. Mostly Neroli. A little some tobacco. Not really a big fan of either. But, you gotta use it up right. So, uh, the brush by long coarse hair. About a 24 millimeter, 25 millimeter knot, something like that. 24, about a 24, 20, yeah. I'm gonna say 24. It's right there average with it, so. That's what we're gonna use today. Let's get to work. Hope everybody's doing all right today. I had a pretty good day at work myself. Productive. There we go. I think I'm getting loaded. Got some of that funny stuff. Drip, drip, drip. Okay. My hands are all slick.
we got a haircut yesterday. She lowered my sideburns just a little bit too much. Got too much water in my brush, but I got a good lather going here. So time out. I'm back. Sorry. Why do women think they have to call in the middle of a shaving video? Why do they think that's okay? It's not. Now I got I'm all dried up now. I know this seems like that much time to you, but to me that was about 15 minutes. Yeah, I sit here on my shaving soap on my face talking on the cell phone for 15 minutes. Wears me out. Water. We'll just start all over. Okay, so back to what I was saying. What was I saying? All right, so uh, this is for Ed Munoz. I don't know what I was talking about, if I was talking about anything. So this is this shave. Ed Munoz told me to shave with this soap. And a straight razor. Creamy goodness. James is going to kill me for stealing that from him. Uh, Chavridge. Ed said you got to shave with moonshine. Don't shave with moonshine, you drink moonshine. <sighs> Wash it down a little rolling rock. That's a good one right there. Here we go. Swedish frame back. That was a big old drink of shine right there.
behind me. I can't, I can't see because I need to get because that's why she cut my she cut my sideburns too high and now I can't see up there Wonderful slickness from the Dr. John's Gold label soap. Uh, for anyone who is uh,
for anyone who lives within an hour or two of Huntsville and wants to come to the, uh, the little get together we're having. Um, a week from not, not, let's see, today's the 4th, 11th, the 12th, December the 12th, we're having a little meetup, a little dinner, just a gathering of local, now, you don't go out of your way, you don't book a flight, this is not going to be that big a deal, but if you live within a couple hours drive of Huntsville and you want to come and visit with us, by all means, we're going to have lunch and, uh, and share stories and, uh, Enjoy each other's company for two or three, four hours, whatever. But not all night because I got to uh, tune in to the uh, ESPN at around six o'clock because my boy Derek Henry's going to win the Heisman Trophy. And you know, it's really sad. No, it's not that sad, but I mean. This razor is not as sharp as I thought it was going to be. It's sad. The tradition that uh, University of Alabama football has, you know, Bear Bryant and all the national championships and all that, you know. But it's sad that we never had a Heisman Trophy winner until 2009. And you think about all the people that came through Alabama in the, the time, you know, in the olden days. In the 60s, we had three quarterbacks. Alabama not really known for uh, producing quarterbacks in the 60s. Three major, two in the 60s, one in the 50s. Major stars at quarterbacks from the University of Alabama. No Heisman trophies. Namely, one Mr. Bart Starr played at Alabama, no Heisman Trophy. Joe Namath. Played for Alabama. No Heisman Trophy. Ken Stabler. Played at Alabama. No 
No Heisman Trophy. I think Stabler is the only one that won a national championship of those three quarterbacks that I just mentioned. I think Stabler is the only one. So I think Stabler was there in around 64, 65, 66, something like that. Alabama was pretty dominant then. Uh, I don't think Joe Namath ever won a natty. Man, this thing's just not getting it. I'm having a not a favorable shave. Sorry, Ed. This one's not. Not my best shave. It ain't got nothing to do with the stuff you picked out. It's my razor eye. I guess I need to uh address it. In the 70s, Alabama won four. Was it four? 60s, Alabama won four national championships in the, in the 60s, the decade of the 60s. In the 70s, they won at least two. I know for a fact, 78 and 79. Back to back national championships, no Heisman. This razor needs attention. I'm sorry, Ed, this is not a good shave. I mean, it may look okay, but... I'm not gonna do any more. I'm not even gonna call this DFS. But, I must stop to save my face. I am very slick. Dr. Jones is very slick. Alan is going to, I'm about to scream. Just going to let you know right now. Oh, not that bad. Nothing bad at all right there. Not bad at all, actually. Holy. Well, it feels if <laughs> totally felt like I was gonna have to really clench up on that island, but Not a good shave.
not a bad shade, socially acceptable. Thayer's lemon. Lemon. You know, I may feel irritated because I had that soap on my face for so long. That may be why I'm, my face is burning, but the alum didn't, the alum didn't tell me that I had a bad shade. So I did, I sit on the end of the bed there and talked to my wife for 15 minutes while I had that shaving soap on my face. I bet that's why I'm burning, because it sat there for so long. I mean, it wasn't burning at the time, but, but now, you know, I don't know. I got, but my face is. Uh, today's aftershave is brought to you by Louisville, Kentucky. Derby City Chop Shop, Small Batch Winter Reserve. If I had uh, if I had some bourbon in the house right now, that the moonshine would have been trumped. Oh my goodness, that is. Mmm, 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 mmm. Their labels are not waterproof or spill proof. And that is the only issue that I have with this product. It smells great, has good face feel, comes in a cool little jar. It's just cool, man. But it smells wonderful. But the labels, the labels are not waterproof or spill proof. So, all right, so there you have it. You know, now that I feel, I'm sticky. I mean, there's some whiskers sticking up here, but sticky. The aftershave is sticky, but my face is sticky too. So, go figure. All right, so uh, there you go, Ed. You Dr. Johns. You Derby City Chop Shop, Bay Rum, Shave Winter Reserve Shave Tonic. You Shaveridge. I'll never tell. Uh, you Klaus Kornblom ended up a decent shade, but it didn't feel. It's right, my mustache is not. I may whip out of the EE here in a minute and get to, I didn't even do a fool's pass, and I, I need to be, that needs to be smooth up there. I'm gonna have a rough day tomorrow. So I may whip out of the EE later on and clean that up a little. Thanks for watching. I hope you have a wonderful weekend. Uh, I hope your team wins. If he's playing in a championship game. Unless it's Oklahoma. Oklahoma don't play in a championship game. That sucks. I really don't want to play Oklahoma. Alabama, probably that's the only team in the country I think that can beat Alabama right now is Oklahoma. Ohio State could do it, but they're not going to have a chance. Oklahoma's going to get us again. I, I just, I hope not. Steve's is such an arrogant bastard. Anyway, roll tide. Baba Booey, thanks for watching.